Hi, I'm Janae from Mahalo.com, and I'm going to teach you how to make a Long Island. This drink can be a little bit confusing. Some people are mistaken and think that tequila is supposed to go on a Long Island. That's actually for a Texas tea. Now, a long time ago when the drink first came around, it did have tequila in it, but now they use triple sec instead. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the ingredients. You should have vodka, triple sec, gin, rum, sweet and sour, and coke. Now just so that you could see, if you wanted to make this a Texas tea or a little bit stronger, you'd go ahead and just replace the triple sec with your tequila. However, sometimes that's just a little too strong and it's not technically the traditional Long Island. We're going to make the traditional Long Island today. So we don't need the tequila, we need triple sec. All right, so let's go ahead and pour these into our glass. You just need a pint glass filled with ice and you're going to do half ounce even pours of each and every liquor. So we're going to do a half ounce of our vodka, just a little bit of the way up. Then you're going to do a half ounce of your triple sec, just to make sure, you know, we get our little orange something in there. Half ounce of the gin. As you can see, this is getting pretty full of liquor. This is a very strong drink, so proceed with caution. Half ounce of the rum. And I always like to do a little bit more Coke than I do the sweet and sour. The sweet and sour's not got quite the right flavor for this as the Coke does. So you just want a little bit of sweet and sour, maybe like a half ounce of the sweet and sour. And then you'll do a full ounce of the Coke to make it mostly Coke. It just, it makes it, the drink taste a lot better. All right, so we finished off our Long Island with some Coca-Cola Classic. And we have officially made a very strong Long Island. Thanks for watching. To learn how to make more drinks, check out these other videos.